Welcome to Mel Bear's Weird and Wonderful. Today I'll show you how to make this very easy spun cotton bird ready for your Christmas tree. I put out at least one new video every week, so please subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. For today's project, I'm going to show you how to make some cotton spun old world little Christmas birds for your tree. Um, what we'll need for this project today um, are these little clips. I bought these ones with a little wire on them just so I thought it'd be easier to use. I got these from Amazon in a fairly large bag. I'll put the link in the description. Um, we're going to need wire. I've got 20 gauge wire. We're going to need masking tape and tin foil, as well as some cotton balls or cotton roving, which I've got here. Um, you're also going to need some different kind of little beads for eyes. Or you can use uh, fabric paint in the little squeeze bottle for eyes as well. And some toothpicks. Some of these the sharp toothpicks we're going to use this for the beak um, probably want to paint these as well just with some acrylic paint all right to get started we're going to take our little clip and i'm going to take our wire now we're just going to clip off about a eight inch piece of wire and we're just going to loop it onto our piece that's on here. And we're just going to aim that towards the back. This is going to be the bird's tail. And I'm actually going to tape that down. And then we're going to put another piece of wire on here as well, probably about four inches. All right, I'm going to take that down as well. And then I'm just going to Loop these together. All right, so we have a little, a little form. And now um, you could wrap this in 
tin foil, but I think I'm just going to go straight to the cotton. So all we're going to do is just wrap this up with the cotton and then we're going to wash it down with a water and glue mixture. And if you need to know about supplies for cotton spun ornaments, you can refer to my um, cotton spun supply tutorial video. I'm just going to clip that off to this piece of uh, extra wire. Okay, that doesn't want to clip off. I'm going to bend it in. And then we're just going to take our glue and water mixture and just wipe the little, wipe it down with it. Saturate all the cotton with our water glue mixture and make sure the base is also glued down where the end piece. And just try to make sure you keep it bird shaped. You're kind of sculpting when you do this with the water and glue and the cotton. All right, so we're gonna let this dry overnight and we'll be back tomorrow to finish it. All right, so we're back the next day and our little bird form is dry. So what we're gonna do is take a toothpick and just poke uh, some little holes where the beak is going to go. And all we're really doing is um, taking a toothpick and kind of cutting it in half and that's gonna be the beak, but we're gonna do that later. But we're just gonna poke a couple little holes in there just so we know around where the beak is going to be placed because we're gonna paint this first and then we'll put the beak in later. And now we're gonna get our paint ready and I'm just using a couple different reds um, acrylic paint. I think this is just a Liquitex I've had for a while and then just a basic red craft paint. And then we're just going to paint the little bird red. And if your paint is too thick or you're finding it isn't spreading very well, just put a little bit of water in it, which is what I've done. I'm just dipping my paintbrush in a little bit of water and just um, watering the paint down a little so it flows a little better. You don't get as much coverage, but I kind of like it to show that you can still see that it's a cotton ornament and not just like thick paint.
And now we're going to let this dry overnight and we'll come back and finish it tomorrow. All right, so our little bird is all dry. And we're going to, first of all, we're going to give him a little beak. And what I'm using for the beak is just uh, some toothpicks that I have cut. And we're going to need our either white glue or your glue gun. Um, for kids, I recommend white glue. Don't use the glue gun. The glue gun is dangerous, in my opinion, for kids to use, even for adults to use. I have had a few glue gun burns, so I don't really... I'm not a huge fan of the glue gun. Uh, the main reason I use it in the tutorials is because I don't have to wait for it to dry in between. So we're just going to poke these in. That one we may have to cut off a little further. Let's try that again since that one is gone. <laughs> just going to clip that off, hold it a little tighter this time. And then we're just going to put that in, sink those into the little face, and then we're just going to glue those in so they're in solidly. All right, so for our little red bird, I've just got a piece of feather boa, which I found these at a garage sale. I think sometimes you can get these at the dollar store, but I'm just going to cut a couple pieces off of this. about the length of my wire. I'm just going to lay that on there. I think we're going to do two, give her a really fancy tail. And I'm just going to glue them right onto the little wires. Now you can use um, you can use hot glue or you can use uh, white glue. Just use whatever kind of glue you have. The uh, only reason I'm really using hot glue is just it makes this go faster. I find hot glue the danger part does not make me happy. <laughs> It's kind of, I don't know, hot glue in me. I'm really easy. I'm really good at burning myself. So I'm not the biggest fan of hot glue, but um, it is faster for these projects. So I can make them quicker and not have to wait three days for stuff to dry. But I honestly do prefer a good sturdy, um, either uh, an epoxy type glue or even a white glue on these. But this does make it go faster, so no way I can get more out to you guys than waiting. Waiting for glue to dry. <laughs> Just making sure that's all glued on there properly. There we go. She's very, very fluffy. <laughs> I love it. And I think I'm going to give her a little bit of a, a mask. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the glue. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to use some white glue. And it'll just have to dry. So I'm just going to put a little bit of white glue and then just...
All right, and then we're just going to cover this in red glitter. All right, and then we just have to wait again for that to dry, and then we'll continue on. Actually, before that dries, I'm going to give her some eyes. Now, for eyes, I'm just using a slick 3D paint. And I've also used the fabric paint to paint her beak instead of acrylic paint. I did forget to film that part, but it doesn't really matter. Just rub the fabric paint onto her beak. So we're just going to let this dry till tomorrow, and then she'll be all ready to go. And here is our finished bird. It turned out quite cute. I hope you have enjoyed this little spun cotton bird tutorial. I am planning on making a few of these for my tree. I put out at least one new video every week, so please subscribe. It really does help. If you enjoy the content, please give my video a like. Thanks for watching.